Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more of the Great Ace Attorney. Last time we had our first cross-examination with these two guys, and today we'll just continue on to their second testimony. Alright, let's go. The True Culprit Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes. Pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was. That young lad in black, that much I did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Hmm. Hmm. These testimonies are certainly yes. compelling. Yes, that is compelling. Wait, that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please. Enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his school. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen Objection! her. Objection! Objection! How come he could object? If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. <sighs> It is evident, beyond all reasonable doubt, that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, counsel? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was drinking taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can pl plainly be seen, there's only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Ah, <sighs> this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. It seems that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I saw her. I swear I saw a woman with him. He was the woman. seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witnesses, testimonies we've just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takatsushi Aochi, will be contributed to the am amity of these two great empires is an honor. <sighs> How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Ryuniske. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. Now's your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I don't know, Kazuma. The defendant is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses. Be, but make it quick, understand? Huh. Rules can be so unbending at times. Uh. Cross-examination. 
Even my cells, precise moment, the firearms discharge. everyone everything I mean. yes hold it no 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 it's not the same thing at all from the start I didn't fire that gun we have a difference of opinion on that the opinion of an uninformed officer versus a fledgling cadet I mean uniformed <laughs> wait uniform <laughs> uh, I don't think so Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, this undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Turn shun! The sound of a firearm rang in my ears in the very next moment. I saw you waving that gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you think? Err. Let us not forget that the antique stealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position as well. Is that so, Kordakotakun? Or, son. <laughs> son. <laughs> Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was. That young lad in black, that much I did see. Yes! Hold it. Yes, it may be true I was holding the gun at the time. But I've told you already, that's only because I picked it up off the floor. Well, obviously, the culprit. That's the only way you could explain it that way. I just finished drinking my coffee, and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up, and at that exact moment, bang. Gunshot rang in my ears. Hmm. Full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which per precipitated this testing predicament. Whereas conversely, I failed to pick up the Kanban from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as well. Uh, anyway, the fact remains, myself, I did see you, with pistol in hand standing over the foreigner. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises Hold it. You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. Objection! Objection! As you may have been at pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing callous in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Uh... If only there were been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Fortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know, of course the place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the Phantom was eating at the time of day and why he was alone. Yes, your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. Ah, more evidence. What is that, Consul? 
It's a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at the clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Hot clinic. <laughs> uh, that's a doctor in the second game. Or, uh, yes, that would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon past 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on this case. I wonder, what do you think, Ryanosuke? Hmm? Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you could request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card to be submitted as evidence? Sure. Yes! Yes. <laughs> oh, he's so goofy. If I may, I'd like to ask that medical report card be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Uh, the court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Objection. Objection. Whether or not the concern is up to us to decide, we have the right to explore all possible avenues. I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. Mm. Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's the most disturbing thread trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Uh, how to clinic. What we need right now is more clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. Hmm, you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witnesses' testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate the accused. Kurakuta-san. Yes! Oh, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> Why aren't you telling the truth? Well, what did you say, Cadet? I clearly remember. There's a woman sitting across the table from the prosecutor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the prosecutor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Fortunately for you, Defendant Naruhoto, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony that the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said the victim was alone. That's right. Precisely, in other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution would demand to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I could say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, Rinosuke. We've gleaned some new information now. Well, yeah, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I won't be so sure. Let's see that medical report card you got there. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. 
so perhaps we should examine in a little more detail. I tried! How exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence prepare a magnifying glass. They are the, they, these are the ones you may examine. Press A and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Use right stick. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using left stick, You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshair starts pulsate, press A to investigate further. So partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. I'll use the mouse for this, if I can. Okay, left. What? Oh no. Looks like this medical report card was first issued quite s some time ago. Probably a re record of a long-term treatment, that's why. With a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can imagine going to a doctor, I mean, as long as I'm alive. I'm never consulting one. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So you don't like doctors, then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine. They give you painful injections. And demand lots of money from you for the privilege of all of it <laughs> when you're at your lowest ebb. Hmm, you sound like a model patient. With a bad case of stubbornness, no less, for which the only cure is a bitter, a very bitter med medicine indeed. Oh, that's lame. That's easier to just use the controller. <laughs> Damn it. Mr. John Wilson Hotto, Hotto Clinic. It says Hada Clinic on this medical report card. I hate clinics almost as, as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Brr, I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life! Most people would give their right arm to have had only one cold in their whole life. Anyway, I don't think it's... This is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Achievement unlocked. Healthy curiosity. Have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? Well, it seems so. Just before the incident, he had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you from feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours. Post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. So the other person, this is the medical report for the lady. With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely.
Proceed here. Yes! I messed up. <laughs> what? Oh, um, pay no attention, Your Excellency. Hmm, as you wish. Now, can lower your head. Never. Well, my first mistake. Do I present it here? I guess I do present it there. <laughs> Objection! Uh, er, well, I think, um... About what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could, but first and foremost, here, I'm the accused. Ryunosuke, everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see quite clearly in that cross examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was, it was you wanted to say. <gasps> Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. Hmm. All right. And thanks for the advice. Kurakuta-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I see, and I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement. Something clearly doesn't add up. Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish, amateur, amateurish drivel. But let's see if you, if I can explain in words, you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may have not done before that time is completely irrelevant. Grr, but. That's, um, remember, Yunusuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies that the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for a simple reason that there's no one else besides this pale-faced pe people who could possibly have per per perpetuated the crime. This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half per per petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could I possib- how could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hada Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted. Huh. <gasps> What's this now? And furthermore... If I told you that, as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. <gasps> 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 Just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat, so what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for the, for three hours. Post-procedure, while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't... Kurakuta son. What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., 
the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that can't possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we now know, had just one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effect of anesthetic. Ah! Expertly done, partner. Attention! What? What is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see a plate of food on the victim's table. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant this case have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Ryanosuke? Hmm? Sure. Most definitely. So, having undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, Consul. Consul? Oh, that means me, doesn't it? Alright, to answer this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... Me! as yet unknown third party. Obviously, it can only have been someone who was sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such yes. person. Yes. <laughs> so... So bad. Why, why does this have to be... Yes. <laughs> there... There was. Because I saw her. I'm guessing because his name is Naruhodo. <laughs> they put yes. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. Ah! We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma. Are you insane? You, you take on the government? Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them, those two witnesses in the stand. What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it turns out that the two of you deliberately lied while giving your testimonies. Death. Obviously, you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be din complicit in the killing. Complicit? It... My murder? No, no, no. Hey, it's a baby. Hold it. Negative. There was no mention of this at, at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right. As the man says, just say you have never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they are told us. Oh. What? What did you say? Kurakuta-san? 
Uh, no. You were just following orders. Now, hold on, lad. How's all? Say, you never saw the gentlewoman. Her. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? Attention! What? What's the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements. Is this true, you pair? Death. Death to them. Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. Order, order. Council, explain what's going on here. It's painfully clear now. He tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um, that's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You wouldn't. This can't be happening. Ryunosuke, judging from the way they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn into silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Ouchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there's only a handful of possibilities. It could, have, it could only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence this, this witness, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was who tried to make the witness keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How could we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before. We examined a piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? And to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait. Your Excellency, I have no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god. I knew nothing. What does the defense have to say about all this? Hmm. Err, uh, oh, your excellency. Uh, no time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes to my head. It was I! I bribed them. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... Eugene? Besides the prosecution, I'll give the prosecution. Eugen? Yes! There. What do you make of that? really know what it is but the professor prosecutor exactly but he really makes me wince in pain sometimes so wince in pain is a uh, prosecutor in the other games uh, I don't have a great deal of influence myself but believe me
Oh, I forgot that I need to examine this. <laughs> uh, this is the plan of the restaurant. It raises a number of questions, I think. Definitely. It's supposed to show the relative position of everything in the moments following the incident. But there's nothing to show the woman you saw there. Exactly. That's not all. Look here in the upper left, where it says kitchen. Huh? Oh yes, what of it? No one would use those complicated characters to write kitchen, especially if they're not, they were in a hurry. You mean, you don't remember these characters yourself, don't you? Study harder, Ryunosuke. Wow, there it is. <laughs> Chief Inspector Satoru Hosunaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see it says witness's name in here? Satoru Hosunaga. Well, yeah, business cards tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's unexpected, it's the job title. This job? Oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosunaga. Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector, what on earth? I have no idea, but let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're really real if they're wielding it somehow here. Surely that would be Satoru Hosunaga-san. Hanosaga-san, the waiter who took the stand earlier. Attention! Poppycock, what possible reason could the, would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that he even heard the waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If that is, the man truly were mayor. What? If he were truly were? Come on, Ryonusuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Han Satoru Hosunaga-san's real identity as proven by this evidence. Yes! The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in the question? Hmm, I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we could conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency, but that's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that that's of interest. Beg your pardon? Or perhaps I should have said the front? Yes, the front of the back of the card. That's where we're... <laughs> the Telling detail is. Huh? Would someone please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosunaga san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of this business card. The front of the business card revealed the man in question's profession, his true professor. The raider's profession? But that surely. Good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter's a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses, they're in the stand. Hmm? Was it in fact the waiter who gave you these orders? Who Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen a foreign gentleman at the scene? Uh, well... Mm. Hold it! Uh-oh. 
Inspector Hosunaga. Hosunaga. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. Wait, I was supposed to give him a sick, sick accent. The court will take the plan and add it to the court as evidence. Oh, oh well. Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle, but I let myself be distracted when I made the sketch. <laughs> it was an unusually careless mistake. You mean to say you really are a detective? Why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course. Your salary must be terrible. <laughs> I'm working as undercover. Undercover? Yes. There has been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job as a waiter working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well, Inspector Hos Hosunaga, but you will elaborate on your point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. Hmm. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you are you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <laughs> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable. Hmm. As I suspected. Uh. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair beside him. A gun in hand stood the accused student, sitting opposite to the victim at the same table was a young lady whom I guessed to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the Englishman from the scene at once? It was made clear that the Englishwoman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But what if the Englishwoman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. Huh. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishwoman has been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right. Hmm? 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 
One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently housing a number of exchange students from Great Britain, and I'm fa fairly certain that one of them studying in the medical facility or faculty's research laboratory is a young English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. Hmm? You mean, when I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it was prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The Englishwoman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. Hmm. Can't think of a pun. She's indeed a foreign student care studying in the research laboratory at Yume University's medical facility. What is happening here? I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimony. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with the situation. Guilty. Very well, my thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. Hmm? However, as we now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. But, Your Excellency, that would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send a telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be displeased by such actions. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of our of my courtroom. Ah. Inspector Hosun Aga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly, so it won't be a problem. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing will get in my way. <coughs> Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett to the witness stand. Giselle Brett. I'm man. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, someone in the comments figure out what Giselle Brett means. <laughs> yes. Your Excellency. Good. Then we'll have a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Alright, guys. Guess we'll stop here. Next time, we'll continue the case and uh, figure out what's going on. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, or not. Thanks for watching. Bye.